Hey there, YouTube. Okay, so got a bit further forward with this. Now, I found a mistake, and the mistake was this connection here was coming to the base here, and the collector here. Oh, what was it doing? God damn it. Oh, never mind. It's fixed. It's fixed. Oh. You're at the same stage as what I'm at now, apart from I've gone just a little tad further in front of you. So, at the minute we got, that says 0.5 volt, that's peak to peak. We've got the scope one down there, I'm going to just connect it, and you can see what we got there, 4.4, 4, 4, 4 8 volts, RMS. Okay, and I've got sort of 24 volts going in. Less than that. Um, we're drawing under the current. I'm supposed to get 20 milliamps, but I don't have any heat sinks or anything on. I'm not getting any heat. I'm not getting any heat on anything. I've got nothing on the output of this anymore. Um, there's nothing on the input. That's nice. Got no DC. Uh, anyway, so that 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 mistake seems to be fixed, which is really really good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to just turn this up. Oh, well I may as well do it um, if you watching so I've got that set on 250 volt that's good so here we are I'm gonna start turning up what we want is like 50 volts just for this little test and even though it says 4.5 now so it's not really going up that much but the quiescent currents down going up that's on sort of 40 so 45 so because there's no heat sinks on this I'm going to back all that off disconnect it should have a little feel nothing nothing no nothing it's all good it's all good everything's good so we definitely got amplification definitely got amplification and I just wanted to see just turn it up there I don't expect it to go up there because I need to up the input and up the output I just wanted to watch that there was no weirdness. It was like I said, you're at the stage that I'm at now. Uh, so I've just finished uh, just making something to eat there. And I'm gonna just stuff my face, take a bit of a chill from this, and come back when I've been eating. We'll see where we go from there. Okay, so I'm back. I've, um, well, I. I did the scope thing, I have not put any fuse in but I got rid of the uh, resistors because um, I need to have a little bit of current going through it now. So it's on, um, at the moment these two are on the current, so this is on the, let me just check for you, that's on the negative rail, this one, that's the current there, and this one's on the positive rail. And it's on, now it's pretty much at its lowest. Um, it's about 30 milliamp at 50 volt uh, quiescent. Can't really, um, like, well, I can't, it's only one channel for starters. And I don't want to just try and blast the crap out of it. It's just nice to know that it works. And it sounds nice. It does sound nice. Um, this is literally, you, you, you get in this the, the same time as me. I've, I've not done anything apart from connect the wires up. Um, and then I tested it in the, the phone that I'm using at the minute because it's really got one channel here and only one channel on this phone works. So I didn't know if it's going to work, but I tested it in this camera phone first. It worked. I found this phone and uh, it's good. We've already got one one channel. It's all free music. It's gonna change up a little bit. I know what it's supposed to sound like. The, 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 the music, don't put the music that you know, to my taste or anything like that, it's not, it's just it's just freebie stuff and it gives a wide range of sounds, that's that's what I go for, that's what I go yeah. 
I prefer to sit and listen to the classical stuff, a lot of it. This one's actually called Clever Boy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself this today for uh, sorting this out. <laughs> Clever Boy. Yes, this is a. Um, this is definitely gonna have to be a two channel amplifier. And of course, I'm only putting 25 volts inside. This is actually mm, for 35 volts a side. Uh, it'd be pretty good in this, but I just wanted everything to be on a bit of a um, let's not push things and let's just see how things go mode before uh, trying to do anything like that. So it's got 50 volts going into it at the minute, so we've got 25 volts aside. And we're on a, a, a quite low quiescent current. If I if I just pull the power on it, it's all gonna pull the power. You're getting what's in the capacitors now. There we go. You've lost it. Uh, if I just pause that, and my quiescent current as I mentioned that before. That's because they're just going through there anyway. So with no input, uh, we should be able to see what that is still, shouldn't we? And it is just at 50 volts. It's just slightly off. So I just unplugged this. I've got some fuses here. Look, I was thought about putting in. I didn't know if I could have put them in. Maybe somebody would tell me. These are resettables. Uh, only 30 volts. So I'd still have to use the um, variable transformer. <laughs> I still have to use that to keep it, you know, not not low. Because off the 25 volts of the um, AC output here per channel, we're going to get like 35, 36 volts or something, aren't we? DC. Um, so as long as I use the uh, auto transformer, I can possibly use these. Just as some sort of protection on there. We several fuses, or can I use 250 volt, three amp fuses? I'm not sure. Maybe I could just just Google it. It works. It works. And I was going to show the quiescent current. Uh, that voltage that uh, looks a little bit off. I presume that's something to do with the fact that there's a speaker cables on there now. And I probably don't want to let that just keep climbing, do I? But we do see that when the um yeah when the uh oh that was quite pop that was probably I don't know if you got to see that on the video but that's all sort of raised up sort of buff up and then drop down from the uh, that would be the positive rail. I just did that. The left one is the negative, the right one is the positive. Interesting. But that's because I've got this speaker on. Uh, look at the cable, it is, it's audio file cable, and it does say about the capacitance. And, um, uh, and I've been reading as well, you see. Got stuck into books yesterday on amplifiers. I've got a halfway decent one. Uh, there are too many. Yeah, and the amplifier section on that was talking about the uh, the internal, uh, the incapacitance in this or something, if it gets together. Oh, I don't want to try and explain, I can't remember properly, I'm just too excited that this is working, I want to go and play with it. I just want you guys to know that it's working, um, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything terribly untoward. Uh, these resistors are out of line now, this is directly in, and, uh, and I'm chuffed. I'm chuffed, I wish it was two channels, so I'd be able to sit back and listen to a bit of music, but it's not, it's only one channel. Um, but yeah, that's it. Whew, I'm so glad that's done. So glad that's done. And when I get the money together, uh, I'll order the good bits, the good parts. I haven't got any more 140s, um, otherwise I would build another one of these. I've got everything else. Oh, no, 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 I've got the, I've got these, I've got these as well, at the same value. 0.27s so not 0.33s 0.27s that's all I got though but it works and the only thing I haven't got is the 140s 140s on no I've got I'll probably do some more of these green ones but I could, I could probably take a take apart a couple of these products I'm not doing anything with now that's an inverter I've done a few inverters with loads of different like loads of um uh, MOSFETs and stuff on there to be dissipating heat. Hmm. 
maybe I'll just order get some of those off eBay and NXPs I think the ones I got on there yeah N NXPs they're all right but I noticed there was two when I was looking for these on Farnell I noticed that there's some they're different voltages and different some of these are 140s or 139s or 140s no they're both both because I checked both they only do they do 12.5 watts dissipation and the other ones do like one and a half watts dissipation you gotta be careful when you buy these bloody things it seems if you got two lots of 140s are completely different yeah the cap the capabilities is a, is a big difference in their capabilities and you gotta be careful that you don't end up with some 12.5 watts and some 1.5 watts not so good just thought I'd chuck that bit in there I thought that was quite interesting when I saw it I thought well that's a bit of a bugger for some people say young players but I'm not that young so I say new player for me yeah but chuffed it works right that's it I'm just going to roll this out with a little tiny bit of music cheers for your support out there I, I'm going to probably I will reply to you um, the bits that I was going to write down or maybe I shouldn't maybe you just get this video as a reply and I'll say I stuck a video up I know I said I was just going to play that little bit of music and go out but I've just listened to another track and it just, it does actually it just does uh, it just sounds like the other ones they sound quite nice and yeah with the two channels from like the Anna 1975 sounds nice as well it's just that this one's just got the uh, I don't know listen see what do you think Let's get to another one. I, I don't know. I don't know what's coming. It's just going to be in the order of whatever comes. So I'm just going to give it. Bit of a fast forward on this. Next tune. Uh, there's some, there's some kick to it, don't I? I ain't gonna make you listen to that because I know there'll be some younger ears. Oh. That's old. Well, the sounds of it, I'm just gonna. Uh, oh, we, we heard this on the, I think it was on the, um, the tube, the 12AX7 little preamp, come and give it some extra power. Um. Hello, are you the one that I've been looking for? Sounds nice. Look up to the night sky, we can pick them out like even all the ones that they don't seem right. Chalk it up to Mars. Chalk it up to Mars. Hello. Are you the one that's on my frequency? I don't know. That's another one. Oh, this is pretty slow, so. This is all uh, Spanish and pretty loud, but it's cool. Oh. I think it sounded all right on the English one. Actually, that sounds quite nice. 
them speakers are like crap, and I don't, well, they're not crap what they are, they're little satellite speakers, they're not supposed to be, uh, I can't remember what the frequency range is, but it's pretty rubbish, if you want bass. My old Mad 3020 from years and years ago would have had a hard time sounding like this. But then again, the sources were different as well. This whole thing with amps in it, you only get out what you put in, you put shit in, you're gonna get shit out, and that's it. I don't care what people say, oh, I've got a great set of speakers, yeah, let's have a look at your source. No, no, you can amplify that. <laughs> oh, sorry if I just swore in that I think I just did. I don't know what it was going on with this. Sounds nice. Get in trouble if I play this. Or it's the next one. Sounds nice. Oh, I get in trouble for that one. I don't get in trouble for this. That's that, no, all right, okay. I don't know if I can go. Sounds number 15. Number 15 on my phone, which is absolute rubbish compared to uh, my laptop. Amps it was drawing. I need something so I had to turn it from 100 milliamps, so I watched it like banging across a couple of times too much. <laughs> so, anyway, that's it. That's it. It works. We all know that now. We can, uh, I'm just see if anything's getting warm terribly. Nah, nothing. It's a little bit lukewarm. Oh, this would be nice. <laughs> Yeah, ooh. 